Perfect time. So Are you the contractor or architect? Uh, architect. Um, yeah, so the um we had an issue with the existing septic system being too close to the original addition in the back. So we shortened that, but then they also wanted to add a second floor to make up the difference in the square footage they were losing. And uh, she sent the homeowner sent me a uh, an image of a, a house that she liked, and I, I tried to you know, make it work based on what she was looking for. So I'm sorry, the addition is adding a second floor? Yes. Should the Emma look at it like it's in the application? Is it similar? Is it like so different? It's, it's not worth looking it's, as well. It's, it's pretty different from what I could see. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty different. Pretty different. All right, so let's put this one in. Let's yeah. just analyze yeah. the project. Do you want to show us a little bit of a It's. Well, let's look at the. Why don't we look at the oh, existing yeah. house? It's, okay. it's a home, it's a new house. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. So, why don't we, I guess, just go look at it? All right. We'll look at the name. This is all the neighbors and stuff. And that's, that's the house now. So, it's a real simple yes. one story yeah. match. Neighbors are around for the neighbors. Okay. So where's the phone? Do you have a copy or do you have Yeah, he has. Uh, Brendan, the second copy. Okay. That? The one or the old one? The new one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is the. I'll just start off with. So, okay. so, so I looked at this before I came <laughs> here, and um, you know, I always like to see a roof plan because that tells you everything if everything's worked out, and I cannot make heads or tails of what your roof plan is supposed to be. Because I look at your elevations on both sides, and I can't make a roof plan out of it. So I, I can't tell what you're trying to do, because none of your elevations actually match up with each other. So if you want to come up here, I'll show you. So you're showing kind of a hip here and a hip here, I believe? Yes. And then you have a raised ridge here, so something is continuing up here, right? Mm -hmm. But then I look at the side elevation, and it's basically just a hip going straight across. So I think your front elevation should actually look more like your rear elevation. Oh yes, no, you're right. It should, it should look exactly. Well, like that's your part of the elevation. thing. We need accurate drawings of what you're supposed to do. And here you're trying to show these are like almost two masses with their own gable, but that's not really what you're getting. They, they don't. If you look at this, it's this doesn't relate to that. This ridge here would align with. with these peaks. Right. So it wouldn't but be the, raised up like this. No. So the gap. So you have this alley going right into that. <laughs> but then this is set this is set back from this wall on the second floor. Right. And that's what establishes these cornices. Right. I know that cornice goes in front, but that line, I don't know what that line is. Unless you've created a valley of some sort that runs right into that addition, which I'm not sure what's going on. So the, my, my first point is, you know, always show drawings that are cohesive and coherent, and, mm -hmm. and I don't see it here. Just visually, what inspired you to this? Window pattern, which seems so unlike anything. Right? Well, I, I can show you the inspiration that I was sent. It's a fairly different floor plan, but the only real difference is the siding. The uh, border mat instead of the stucco. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's, it's, it's not modern. Right. It's not flat. It's it does have a uh, a really low pitched. Um, to it. I think just that rendering can be. Did you have all the horizontal lines with the roof and the, you know, and the 
happy here. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what what you you know this is reads a lot more modern than what you have is is that the the windows and this treatment here are so um, large compared to it that it's almost you've got um, just little elements going around the large windows, whereas here these were just punched windows mm -hmm. and a big facade. So I don't think it really compares. Yeah, you know, was... the, there's so much more glass here that it's very kind of modern, and it, to me it reads. Um, like a flat roof, and maybe I'm wrong, but uh... <clears throat> that, that was one of my comments. The whole this the, the the front piece actually looks like it was built somewhere off site and just kind of stuck onto it. And and I kind of see where you're coming from now, but it's like this this element actually looks foreign to the rest of the project. Mm -hmm. It looks fine with that, I suppose. Well, I think the danger but is you're it, trying to translate this. Yeah, and it doesn't. So, and, really it, and it doesn't because also apples just, and oranges. You know what I see here are you know there's the large punch opening. This creates one large one. This is large, so it's really almost like a frame around the windows mm -hmm. rather than a window punched in. And then also the the stone in the front is coming up from a strong base in the house and comes up and does something. Now whether I like this or not doesn't matter, but at least they are trying to do something here. Whereas in yours you have no horizontal stone or any kind of intersection of stone. You just have these two gigantic walls of stone, which I uh, I just can't, I've just never really approved that. It looks so, um, so I, you know, that's just one element that, that bothers me about the house. Um, the other is just trying to figure out what's going on with the roof. Um, yeah, no, I, I think you're right about these things. I don't think these right. exist. They don't exist. No, nope. and your front elevation would look basically yes. like this. This is just pushed back a little bit on the front. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is you're showing this kind of sticking out past your um, your your patio windows, and they don't do that in the plan. Well, that's just the fireplace box sticking out. I know, but it doesn't match your plan, so I don't know which one. That's there. Yeah, there's. Yeah, but it doesn't stick out into the into the gloss. No, it's actually out in from that. You're you're showing this way out to here. So something is not right between your plan and your elevation. Yeah, it should it lie covers, over the end of the door. It covers, it covers the line. Yeah. It's, so it's not it's not accurate, and that just kind of, you know, one bothers me because we're here voluntarily and we want to you know give good criticism and feedback, but if we're not given what's really being built it kind of is like why are we even here you know so i would like you to go back and make sure all your drawings match up and your roof and show me your roof plan um but then on the flip side of that is i don't think you can take that and make it into that without substantial reworking yeah i'm, I'm not saying i disagree or like it's i i try I know. I, I would never try. do something like that. I, I know. I yeah. don't think but that it works. Of course, it's not the same. It's yeah. Not, I mean, that's kind of handsome. And, and even I even sketched it out in a way that was originally closer to that. Right. And then you know, I was advised by the owners, or you know, about the siding and things like that. So. Right. So it it's you know you look at this elevation. This has. Actually, nothing to do I know. whatsoever. Even this is a monster is blank wall. We frown on blank walls. Um, blank wall. Um, you know, even right. each of the four pieces, they don't relate to each other, really. The the siding choices are, are strange to do the sides. Um, you know, in a white board band, and the front is all the uh, you know, wood, aluminum, but... So I think you need to sit with your client and rethink all of this. More homogeneous. And also, of course, accurate, like it's not the same. And, and, and also the blank walls, you know, that's another thing. This is so, everything that was said. You know. the, the facial details, there's a one by six over the one by 12. I think all the elevations are seven drawn as one by 12. So that would probably change a lot. It would help, elevations. It'd help it look a little, um, have a little more detail. My my question is, if you're going to go with such deep faces here, then why not do that on the garage too, so everything matches? It looks like this is very yeah. minimal compared. I know that's probably an existing roof line and stuff, but 
Um, they could still build out the, the existing soffit so that it would match. Uh, right. And then this this roof, you know, we're actually seeing a gable end, I believe, right? There wouldn't be a yeah. hip. So it's like, you know, what is the trim detail there? Does it look good? And then, you know, this, this is really just huge. Um, I, I don't know why, it just feels so heavy, heavy handed to me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so, so you yeah. have so much freedom to, it's a brand new house essentially you can do almost anything but you got to create a unified composition that makes sense. all right and then also if you're going to do that's your front door right mm -hmm. so you know show it as a front door and they you know. that's actually the kind of door they want almost like a solid black smooth panel oh, that's okay. like a pivot hinge oh, okay okay what's the dimensions of it looks like a very out of proportion how wide it uh, it's four feet wide by seven feet tall. It's so very it's a push. pretty big door. Yeah. Yeah, it's low and wide. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're happy to see you again at the next meeting, but I think you need to take a whole other you know, fresh look at this. Okay. Right. And put this away and come up with something that, that um, sure. is kind of your own design that comes together. I also. The, the decision to do this was pretty quick, so I'm not making excuses, but that's why there was some inconsistencies. Okay. I tried to, I had a couple days, but it's, um, yeah. I I should have had it done right, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. I appreciate it if you do. Mm -hmm. The next meeting is December 6th, so I need the revised plan for November 29th. Okay. So, definitely not the stone. I don't know that they want to, I mean, for me at least, I don't know that they want to give you a little, because okay. I think you need to be looking at it. I think it's, it's all over the place. It's right. not you, you, yeah, you can't come back and just take the stone off. And no, I know. I was just a, a starting point for what, you know, what I can say discussing with the owners. As far as you think. say, it's it's just a whole scramble, but it doesn't okay. have any continuity. Okay. Yeah, just tell her this look doesn't, or tell them that this look doesn't fit into that mass of the house. Sure. So you have to come up with something different and, you know, maybe it'll be, you know, and it'll be better. Yeah, it would, um, I, I don't, I, I try to do that. I, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I can see that. Okay. I can see that. But there's, there's a lot of things in there that are a lot different than that. It's yes. more vertical house. It's almost three, three pieces. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah, the proportions were very difficult. Yeah, for sure. It's hard to make that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You too. So what we're looking to do is um, create two small additions to increase the, you know, the um, usability of the house. Um, is a, if we look at the second floor, which is page, is it, uh, is it all existing for the most That's part? all you existing. Yeah. Yeah. I do have pictures. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So what we're looking to do is add this part where it says addition there. So it's it's kind of important to look at the second floor, um, which is page three, where um, we're looking to add just two small additions. Basically, add a master bathroom. To, for, for the master of the primary bedroom. Um, bedroom number three is a really small bedroom, so we're looking to increase that while adding another bathroom to, for the two, bath, two, two bedrooms to share. 
And so when we go to the exterior, we're building on top of two existing uh, first floor little elements. So there's an existing living room here, so we're building a second floor on top of that. And then in the back, where the master bedroom, bathroom is going to be, there's another little bump out that we're adding on top of that. So we're keeping you know, all the additions on, on top of the existing house. A lot of people in the neighborhood have done already. Those are the neighboring houses. Can I walk you through anything? Is there any questions on that? Um, so it just looks like if you're facing your house to the left, you're doing the new addition over the living room and it's going. <laughs> It's overhanging a little bit. Yeah, and I decided to turn the gable roof because the gable facing the house would look kind of weird to do a double peak. So yeah. I turned the gable yeah. roof. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have a small little window here instead of uh, matching the big house? It'd be nice to, but it's the bathroom. It's a very tight space, so we decided just to do a smaller window instead of a very big window. If you yeah. look at the configuration, yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's facing the neighbor. Yeah. I could do a bigger window, but I think it's just for privacy would be a better as a smaller window. Yeah. That's not the right foundation. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, it's that one. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm fine. Just kind of. This is the bathroom. And, and right here? Is the shower. So it's hard to put a window there for yeah. yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a cute picturesque house. So it's okay. <coughs> so you don't have to have the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's the floor, so I can't put anything there. So this is like a similar size one. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like the way it looked. It looked too, um, too like a rocket ship, so I thought staggering the windows looked a little bit better. Uh, a, a wire window? It's just for privacy, yeah. For privacy. Definitely have a window for light, but for privacy to have it a little higher because the toilet is there, yes. There's a toilet, yes. yeah. Yeah, because otherwise you could have, you know, like a privacy glass. Yeah. And, and on elevation, it would be exactly the same. On the size as the other windows, it would look nice. Well, we, yeah, we talked with the owners and right. it's for a smaller window. So. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. we're just yeah, I'm just I'm okay. okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Is you want to hold all those pictures? Yeah. Uh -huh. Good to see you. Good have a good night. Good night. Good night. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nobody likes Zoom anymore. No. Carmen's over. Huh? COVID's over. It was nice though. <laughs> oh yeah, you could be in your pajamas, doing a meeting, everything is good. Yeah. <laughs> Get up, go to bed. Are you moving your office? Yes. So I'm moving office. Um, story why? Because you're yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, no parking? Gossip, for gossip's sake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, landlord tried to lift the rent a bit because I don't sign the year because I want to see. But then I started looking around and building at 37 was available and it was just a pretty good deal so then he came went back on the rent I was like, oh, no, it's <laughs> Sorry. but at that stage it was like kind of um but also you know that building you have to heat and it's like 
because it's a freestanding building, so it's a little more economical to build in that way. Sure. Um, so you'd be right downtown. Mm -hmm. But I signed a five year lease, so I'll be here for at least five years with um, an option to extend. You're upstairs same. or downstairs? I'm going to be upstairs. Up upstairs, right here? Left. Uh, the five windows on the left. Five, six okay. windows. Uh, One, no, sorry, two, five. Three, four, five. five. Yeah. Because there's a corridor that basically just goes mm -hmm. straight up, and then the, the the five windows on the left. Um, so above this house home. Yes, you know I was thinking about putting a big twelve foot billboard up, but <laughs> I'll just that, yeah. I'll just relocate the uh, iconic <laughs> data architecture sign. So it's the same um, sign you're just moving down? I'm just going to move it down. I'm going to put it up. I mean, I, I sort of don't want to be conflicting with um, the the neighbours, and that's a spot that's um, adjacent to the door, so it's like a logical spot to come in. And, um, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And... What time? Um, Is it going to get blocked by the awning? No. Okay. That's a, the awning isn't isn't great. <laughs> yeah. Nice. The big lovely awning is um so the sign's up higher and it, so you can see oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> well that's what I that's what I want the light so you can see it. Yeah, so you're not it's not blocked by right. right, so i the bracket that I that I found yeah. is uh is a smaller like it, it's so I initially just looked at getting the same bracket, but it's curly really sort of curly one, but um I wouldn't be able to pack it up. I think high enough. Um, and then I think, yeah, it's next to the, the door. So when you look at it, so romantic. Uh, really look at what it is. <laughs> um, I hope the fishing is a shooter. It does look good. Looks good. Yeah. 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 Great yeah. function. Yeah. 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 Thank you. What do you think about it? Good luck. Yeah. Well, I first need to. Get my building permit approved. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. We can do it on a handshake. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Most people are already done. Like you talk to Daisy and say, "Can you push Tom a little bit?" Yes. That's how it works. I, I sent an email to Laurie for that. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I know a good architect. Yeah. 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 Um, so hopefully, it leads to more appearances in front of you guys. Okay. Good. I have a. Two projects that I started. Um, a couple months ago, right? Yes, for the addition on Mill Wood Road. Road. Um, they are getting their septic approved. The increase in the septic. So that, that was that, I knew that. <laughs> but um that basically they could start on engineering early. Everyone just has to come up to their own um, realizations about the requirements of the <laughs> what the septic? It's like you call a septic guy and he come and tell you that. Oh yeah, we just you know do a septic. Well, this is just fucking a box. So. 